undefeated British lineal heavyweight champion Tyson, the Gypsy King Fury, will be taking on Tom Swartz this Saturday night. Question is, is Tom Swartz being overlooked? Stay tuned, coming up next. Hey, this is Cassie, and you're watching Blue Blood Sports TV. Shout out to Blue Blood Sports TV. You're watching Blue Blood Sports TV. Shout out to Blue Blood Sports TV. You're watching Blue Blood Sports TV. Hola, habla Cindy, está viendo Deportes TV. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, this upcoming Saturday night, Tyson Fury, the Gypsy King, will be taking on Tom Swartz, undefeated uh, German fighter. A uh, few questions. I know a lot of people saw the name on a piece of paper. They saw the name on an announcement. They saw the name as an opponent. They saw the name as the B-side to Tyson Fury, that being Tom Swartz. But... One thing looms. Not too many people know anything about Tom Swartz. Could we be overlooking Tom Swartz? He is a very big guy. He is undefeated, right? Sometimes people don't know you until they know you, and then it's too late. And what I mean by that is, sometimes people make grand entrances when you least expect it, due to the fact that you wasn't knowledgeable of who they were. You didn't pay attention to who they were. This is the heavyweight division. We've seen uh, upsets before. Uh, would this be another huge upset? Is this another huge upset in the making? Is Tom Swartz capable of beating Tyson Fury? Not too many people know, because not too many people know who Tom Swartz is. Not too many people know who Tom Swartz is. So it could be a grave mistake for us and irresponsible on our part to not pay attention not do our research and look and see who Tom Swartz is because we overlook Tom Swartz we easily pass over Tom Swartz we even easily dismiss Tom Swartz because his name is Tom Swartz and we don't know who he is his name is not Deontay Wilder his name is not Anthony Joshua his name is not Dillian White his name is not Jarrell Miller his name is not Luis Ortiz so when it comes down to it, we can easily be dismissive of guys in situations we have no knowledge about. Should I dare say that we are miseducated on Tom Swartz? And that could be a grave mistake. And is Tyson Fury taking him very lightly? Tyson Fury seemed to be his normal self at the uh, press conference, dancing and talking and things of the nature. That's normal of Tyson Fury. But is he a little bit too comfortable? Tyson Fury himself is a human being. Tyson Fury is a masterclass boxer. It's very possible for Tyson Fury to overlook Tom Swartz. We won't know he's overlooking Tom Swartz till they're in the ring. Of course, Tyson Fury, every boxer is going to say, I'm not looking no op overlooking any opponent. I don't overlook no opponent. I take every opponent serious. They all say that. If you ask Mike Tyson before he went in there with James Buster Douglas, he would have told you the same thing. I don't overlook no opponent. If you ask uh, um, Lennox Lewis before he went in there with Oliver McCall, he would have said, I don't look over, I don't overlook any opponent. They're all dangerous. If you ask Lennox Lewis before he went in there with Hasim Rahman, he would have told you the same thing. I don't overlook any opponent. Right? If you ask Vladimir Klitschko before he went in there with Corey Sanders, he would have told you the same thing. So on and so on. You guys get the picture. And just recently, Anthony Joshua with Andy Ruiz. Swift Jared Hurd with Julian J. Rock Williams. Now, I mentioned these gentlemen, but we knew who J. Rock Williams is, obviously, right? Julian J. Rock Williams, right? Uh, we obviously know who um, Andy Ruiz Jr. is, right? But... We can't be too dismissive of Tom Swartz. I watched some highlights of him, and he's not that bad of an opponent. He's not that bad of a boxer. Now, the level of competition he's faced, you know, is questionable. But then again, whose level of competition is great until they face one another anyway, right? So with that said, you know, this is a big guy who seems to be pretty mobile. And I'm thinking that it could be 
a mistake that we could possibly be dismissing Tom Schwartz because of that name alone. When we saw Tyson Fury, we thought of Deontay Wilder rematch. All, all, all along, we were looking for Deontay Wilder rematch. And so when Deontay, when he Tyson Fury walked away from the Deontay Wilder rematch, and then Tom Swartz was announced, we easily, it was, it was, it was a, the perfect opportunity to dismiss of Tom Swartz because we wanted to see Deontay Wilder, who we're more familiar with. But I'm interested to see how Tom Swartz reacts. Because from what I saw, it's not that bad of an opponent. He's undefeated, he doesn't know how to lose. Right? And he's a big guy. And he's pretty mobile for a big guy. Right? And this is his opportunity to make a huge splash, to make his his name, to make his presence, to take care of his family for the rest of his life. This is his opportunity. And you can never underestimate a man that has nothing to lose and everything to gain. So I'm interested to see how this plays out. But uh, drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Are we over... Or should I say, are we underestimating and dismiss and being dismissive of Tom Swartz because we simply are not educated who Tom Swartz is? Could Tyson Fury possibly be overlooking and dismissing Tom Swartz? As every fighter is going to say, they don't look overlook their upcoming opponent. They take every opponent serious and every opponent is dangerous. They will all say that. But if, if we get upsets for a reason in the sport of boxing. So drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. You haven't subscribed? Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV, all one word. Y'all already know what it is. Shout out to the entire LDBC. Shout out to New Media. Shout out to Black Media Row. Make sure you like and share these videos. That's all I got for y'all. Peace. Blue Blood Sport TV, baby, from the